In this video, we're gonna take a look at the Hunter Pump Start Relay Booster. Again, the Hunter Pump Start Relay Booster. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and you're watching Sprinkler TV. All right, here it is, guys. The Hunter Pump Start Relay Booster. It looks a lot like a standard Hunter Pump Start Relay, but this is the booster version, and I'm gonna explain in just a minute what that means and why you might need it. But first, I wanna explain what a, hunt, what a pump start relay is, and that is to relay power from the irrigation controller and start a pump. Okay, so an irrigation controller uses 24 volts to activate a solenoid. A pump is using 120 volts or 230 volts to run the pump. And so therefore 24 volts is not enough to turn on a booster pump. So we have to relay that voltage, 24 volts to 120 or 230. And to do that, we need a relay. Okay, so that's what a typical standard Hunter Pump Start Relay does. What we're gonna talk about here, what I'm gonna show you is the booster version. And the booster version is for instances where perhaps the controller is too far away from the pump. And so there's not enough, let's just say juice to activate a standard cranberry juice pump start relay, or the wire was maybe undersized. And again, not enough juice to activate a standard pump start relay. So you would use this booster version in combination with a standard version. So you use them together to activate that pump. So this is kind of like able to get you out of that sticky situation where the control is too far away or the wire was undersized, or maybe the pump you're using actually just requires more, more of a kick to, to get started. So what I wanna do is flip the camera over here, show you just real quick what we're looking at. It uses Hunter's standard CH751 key, lockable enclosure, okay. Inside, you'll see a transformer, and again, this is 120 or 230. I'll give you a close up here in just a minute. And you've got a little kind of a cube relay. And this is the actual device that is converting the power. And again, I'll zoom in on these wires in just a minute. And then you have your in the bottom where you would wire in. I've already removed these screws here for you where you wire in your power. Let's get this off of here. Okay. One and two. Okay, so your incoming power gets wired up here. Generally speaking, you would have a junction box. You'd put these wires down underneath. You'd have a junction box there. And I think before we do the total close up cam, let me hold to the main cam so you can get a better look on what is in the inside. Okay, so we've got yellow and red wires. That's what. I'm gonna talk about, that's what we're gonna, what I'm gonna zoom in on. So I've got the, what I like to call the nerd cam. What we're gonna do is get the nerd cam ready here, just a minute. Now we're on total nerd view. All right, so let's look at the wires coming out of the cube relay. We have two red wires and these are labeled to the controller, okay? And then we've got two yellow wires these are labeled to the relay. Okay, so the wires coming from your irrigation controller get attached to red, and then the yellow wires get attached to the Hunter Pump Start Relay or whatever other brand of pump start relay that you might be using. Because again, with the booster, you will be using this in combination with a standard pump start relay. Then we have a transformer, and let's see if we can look at the voltage on that. Yes, we can see right up here, it says 120 or 230, 240. So it's a dual purpose transformer. And I believe these wires are labeled as such also. There we go. So if you're using 120 coming in, you'd use the black. And if you're using 230 coming in, you would use the brown. And then you've got your ground and your neutral wire. So I hope that helps give a little bit overview of the booster. Again, you would not use this independently. 
okay? So if you're looking for a pump start relay, don't get the booster. The booster is only for those situations where you don't have enough power, the controller's too far away or the wire's undersized. If you're just looking for a pump start relay, then you're gonna get the standard Hunter pump start relay. So please, any questions, drop a comment down below. Happy to answer them for you. And until the next Sprinkler Supply Store product overview, happy sprinkling. We'll talk to you then.